October day 19. So originally this video was supposed to be a nail prep video of me putting my um, prepping my hands and putting my uh, following nails on. But yeah, we ain't doing that. So as many of y'all do not know, I've been abstinent for um, a couple years now. A couple years, yeah. Um, I tend to do this now. Um, not when I was younger, but I tend to do this now. Like when I get out of um, relationships or situationships or whatever, um, I take some time out to reflect on the things that went wrong and why they went wrong and kind of like do a little bit of self-reflection. So in that, um, I learned that the the saying like to get over somebody you got to get under somebody else that works for a time being but for me um i find more peace and more fulfillment and actually diving in deep and doing like a little bit more shadow work on myself to try to figure out like and pinpoint um the things that went wrong so that um the next relationship or whatever doesn't um include those things so these last couple of weeks have been rough rough so um i know this glass probably like dingy but it's okay because i was drinking out of it earlier um, not, early, not that much earlier but anyway so these last couple of weeks have been rough for me i've really just been like if i get it i'm just gonna just we finna end it and that's just gonna be it a part of me wants to wait until i meet somebody that i feel is worth me breaking my abstinence for but then another part of me is like i'm not being abstinent for like um, religious reasons i'm not doing it for anything in particular other than making sure that i'm allotting myself enough time to do the shadow work that i need to do and the inner work that i need to do so that i can understand the things that i did right the things that i did wrong in my last um situation so today i got a text so let, let me tell you how the, how the universe works the universe is like you know what she been doing good, but she been want to jump off the bend, so we're going to test her. So today I got a text, um, not from any old body, not from any old body, from um, somebody who, yeah, one of them. So um, I got the text and it was just a very like, just checking on me type text, um, like I, I normally get from this person, I normally get from him. And so immediately because i know um as people might say what he brings to the table i immediately was like maybe maybe um and the feelings are like so freaking strong and it's just one of those things where it's like you know you when you know somebody and um y'all get in, into like a little you know y'all y'all like y'all freak buddies but y'all cool so even if a lot of time goes um like even if it's a long time between the time the child talk and stuff like that you know y'all still get back up with each other and everything be good to go so this is the type of situation like this i've known i've known him since i was um 17 legit i know him since i was 17 but i didn't start talking to him until i was 18 so um yeah so that's the thing. So a very long time that I've known him, a very long time that we would like hook up on and off. Like if I had relationships, we would stop because of course, you know, I don't cheat in relationships, but I'm single. <laughs> I'll be single. So um, he hit me up and just checking on me and stuff like that. And when I tell you, I haven't even responded to the text message yet because it's not going to be me responding. It's not going to be, it's not going to be Candace responding. It's going to be Candy. And Candy is a is a nasty, little filthy lady, you know. So Candy's the person that I become when when the glasses come off. That that that's Candy, and Candy um she she real different. And a lot of times, once Candy is in the room and once Candy's present is known, Candace can't really control Candy. So I'm like, you know, let me come and make a video. I'm not even responding to this person right now. I'm not even gonna respond to him right now. now I going to respond to him yes but i am hoping that through this video it is going to allow me to respond with a little bit more clarity than um 
what I feel like responding. So, because I want to respond from me, I don't want to respond from her. And right now, I feel like responding from her. I feel like really just like handing her the mic and letting her, letting her talk because it's been years, plural, plural. Now, is this the first time that I've been asking in port? No. Um, I've gone one year, two year, three years. Um, without, I really don't have like a time span as to how long I'm asking it. And I think it is partially or mainly or literally because I know that it's people that I could call that's going to scratch that itch if I need them to. So, yeah. So, I know it's a lot of people who's probably abstinent um, or celibate, whichever one they want to whichever word y'all like to use. I like to use abstinence because I'm abstaining from sex. Um, when you when you get to points like this, like when you really have like weak moments, and I don't, I'm not even ovulating. I know what I'm ovulating. I'm not even ovulating. I'm just, I'm tired of, I'm over being abstinent. That's it. That's it. And I'm really just ready to have like, a day of sessions that's what I like that's what he provides or he could provide or he will provide and I'm really interested in it so this Prosecco is not gonna help shit which is probably why I'm really probably just gonna say like a one word response. I'm like, let me pull the camera out and just kind of talk to y'all about this because I know I'm not the only person that's like celibate or abstinent, a man or a woman, whatever. And like having moments where you're like, yeah, I'm the fuck over this. I'm the fuck over this. I'm not a, oh, I wanna wait until marriage time. Like, you know, I don't believe in marriage for myself. I love it for everybody else, but I don't want it for me. Um, but, I'm just, I'm over it, y'all. Like, I'm really ready to, I'm really ready to just be, I don't want to say slutted out, but yeah. And then kiss me on my forehead afterwards. Roll up a blood and just, See, this, this is why I'm going to respond with a one-word answer. This is why I'm going to respond with a one-word answer, y'all, because it's going to be rough. I mean, some dates. It's very difficult to um, feel the way that I'm feeling right now and not and not take it there. Especially when I know it, it would be nothing. It would be immediately yes. Immediately yes type thing. So yeah, so I'm really just going through it. I hope um, I don't even have a lot of Prosecco left. This is like my last bottle. It's like not even a glass full left. I, I really just would rather drink Prosecco and get sleepy and go to sleep and then wake up tomorrow and respond to the text message with a fresher mind. But I'm not, my mind is not fresh right now. I'm burning my wild rose and smoke candle. I really love it. I said it at first. I said at first that it didn't have no aroma to it, but it really does. It's very light, um, like a sensual perfumey type smell. And I probably shouldn't be even burning this because it's really like setting the mood that I really don't need to be set right now. So we're gonna do some playful, y'all. I'm cause I'm going through it right now. We're gonna do the fright night and how the room smell like fucking hot chocolate for no reason. I want to so bad. I don't know y'all. Y'all supposed to be helping me. Y'all just sitting here looking at me. Y'all just sitting here watching me. Y'all supposed to be helping me. I ain't, I ain't hear no no kind of advice, no kind of nothing. I'm freaking the fuck out y'all. I'm freaking the fuck out. Because I'm like, it's Wednesday. It would have to be like a Friday until Saturday. What's Saturday until Sunday? Definitely like a day session. Like 24 hours, get a little rest, eat a little food, back at it. Drink a little water, smoke a little blunt, back at it. Drink a little wine, watch a little movie, back at it. Go to sleep. Back at it. Back at it, back at it. See, this is... 
It's part of my problem. It's part of my problem. At first I was like, I'm gonna make this video and it's gonna be like a cautionary. Like, you know, if you're abstinent, you know, stay strong. Fuck that. If you're abstinent and you wanna do it, don't, don't torture yourself like I'm torturing myself. Because at the end of the day, you can always start over again. Now I'd say don't do it with no piece of shit and just be like, I should have never did. Like, don't do it with nobody that you gonna regret doing it with because that's weird. That's dumb. I'm sure he sleep right now because he works like really early mornings. And that's a good thing because I'll be able to text him. Like, if I decide to text him back tonight, I'll be able to text him back and then he won't respond, hopefully, which he probably fucking will because he is pretty prompt with the responses. This is all the Prosecco that I have left. Is not enough look at this nothing so yeah so i'm gonna edit this and i don't know what i'm gonna title this because this is literally just me venting to y'all this is like a diary type entry for blocktober day 19 i'm pretty like what the fuck at this point with today because my feelings are just ridiculous ridiculous God.